now we're in uh, O'Bannon Park in the city of Bruton. And Craig, uh, this tree that we've got behind us is it's an old growth uh, magnolia tree. And uh, we're about to lose this thing over time, aren't we? Yeah. Um, this is with the floods, the storms, and everything. You see, it's already decaying at the bottom. So, yeah, we all look at maybe transplanting some of this uh, ferns and orchids and everything. So, it'll be the first time I have to do it, you know, because I'm new at it, but I want to learn it. So, this is a good opportunity for us to learn to do this where we can do it in more parts. The great thing about uh, the Bruton Parks is we have uh, this orchid in all three parks. You can find it in E.O. Wilson, you can find it in O'Bannon, and we also have it in Jennings. It just so happens that we're about to lose this tree, and if we lose this tree, we're going to lose the companion plant, which is the uh, resurrection fern that you see up there, but also growing with that is the green fly orchid, and that's the rare plant that we're trying to save. We have another tree that's just off to the side of us that we're going to take strips of this orchid off of it and try to transplant it and see if it will root on another magnolia. But it has to be an old growth magnolia, it has to be facing due north, and it can't be any lower than 20 feet. So this thing has a very small parameter of area that it can grow in. And that's what uh, Craig and his crew are going to try to do. And uh, this is something uh, different than what you normally do. I mean, normally y'all are planting plants and beds, but yeah. this is wild. Yeah, this, this is new to us, uh, something we've been looking at getting into because there's, there's a bunch of other native plants that people don't, they're not aware of. So we're trying to, try, you know, come from what our flower program is to something that we can help nature with in other uh, places. So. Well, Bruton is kind of unique that we have so much wildlife in our parks. I mean, you've got Jennings that's pretty much manicured, but when you get into areas of O'Bannon and certainly EO, it's a totally different world, isn't it? Yeah, you know, um, E.O. Wilson is probably one of the best nature parks you can come to. Uh, got all kinds of sorts of wildlife, uh, exotic plants, uh, native plants, I'm sorry. Everything we have and put in there are native. So uh, it's a good part to start on and try to, to put more stuff around it. He mentioned E.O. Wilson. Now, over at E.O. Wilson, we also have an orchid lab that we're starting, and we also have a pitcher plant log there as well. So. Uh, but this, this one orchid does not grow on the ground, so we're going to have to transplant it in the only place it will grow, which is an old growth magnolia, and we're about to get started now. The only place this fern and orchid will grow is due north on the side of the tree. So we have marked uh, exactly where this one is. We'll put the same mark and um, location on the next tree so that we don't get too far to the east or west because one shift either way will burn this orchid up. So we have to have it exactly due north and it has to be no less than 20 feet up in the tree for this thing to uh, have any type of success. off a little bit better than you thought it was going to. It's a lot like carpet, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, just once it broke loose, uh, no root damage whatsoever. It just uh, the host plant, I think, is what the damage goes to and not the not the orchid itself. So th uh, that's why it's so easy to come off. I think that's why it's so important to kind of protect the two of these together. You're saying that you think that peeling it up, the fern is actually what holds it to the tree? That's right. The fern holds it together. Uh, from what I can, uh, you know, from my experience, uh, the fern holds it together, and then it, once it does that, it makes a compost look like under the bark, and then the orchid grows to it. So. Well, I think we can transplant this one to another tree and see if we got some success. I mean, this is all trial and error. We've yeah. never done this before. That's right. This is the first time uh, 
but I think it's a good chance it will make. We already picked out this tree. We already had it picked out ahead of time, but now we're just getting a bearing as to where this thing has to line up in the tree. You saw over there, if it's too far to the east or too far to the west, it just burns it up. Like I said, first time for us doing this, but I think we're going to have a pretty good chance. think this is going to hold it? Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good. We just get a little moisture to it, and I think this thing's going to take off and going to surprise us. We hope so. We've got it tied in with jute. The whole idea is we're using a natural fiber so that once this thing does take root, all of this cord that we put around it will begin to break down, and then the roots will take over. Like you were talking about, this fern is going to do the job. Once, right. it, once it roots in, then it will hold the orchid in place. That's right, and, pl and plus it'll hold the moisture. Help hold moisture too. So. All right, it's a hot day in Bruton, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot.